we could see that everything was happening at the house that we were staying at. And just moments after a walk in a nearby street, their residence became a crime scene. I think it was 8 o'clock. There were gunshots. There was a helicopter also. We saw commotions, we saw cops, we saw barricades. A tip of led police to this house where over 20 suspects were in a meeting. What we can see, it appears as if they were planning an aggravated robbery. What specifically it is, we are not able to confirm at this stage, but we do know that it was going to be a big scene. 14 suspects were arrested. Two of them are female. We've also recovered four illegal firearms, which is three rifles and one pistol. And also on the premises are six vehicles, five of which have already been confirmed as stolen. Others escaped, one of them with a six-month-old child. There's an infant missing. We don't know who took the child. A grey sort of camouflage outfit. His T-shirt was fun and apparently he had a mohawk. But police seem to have an idea. We have also been given that report that there is one of the suspects who possibly used the child as a protection not to get shot. So police are still searching for this child. We are appealing for information. It's believed the child's parents are among the suspects arrested at the house. And amid the escape, any vehicle was a target for the fleeing criminals. Uh... Okay. Still shaking and traumatized. I picked up the client. This man says he was attacked. We're by the stop sign waiting to turn left. Then I saw a group of guys like, uh, then uh, coming to us with uh, big guns and rifles and pointing to us. About three or four guys, they're pointing our rifle guns straight to me. He said, get out of the car. Then when uh, I lift up the hands, because I didn't know what to do, I was shocked. Then they opened the car. Then they pushed me out. Then I slept down. Then I had about more than 20 to 30 shot, uh, shotgun. The scene played out elsewhere with deadly consequences. There are five other scenes that are related to this incident, whereby we also unfortunately report two fatalities. One is one of the suspects and one is a security guard who was shot. Police are confident more arrests are imminent. Investigations are underway. I'm so traumatized. Uh, that vision comes coming back to me again and again and again. Mareke Jamachave, SABC News, Kelvin, north of Johannesburg.